As we do year in and year out is test new patterns. And this new pattern is called Don's by Hackle Bugger. What we've done is combine some UV materials with some non-UV materials, and it turned out to be very effective in our local streams and rivers. So make sure you have these ingredients ready before you tie the fly. For the hook, we use a size 10 4X long streamer, some 6 aught black thread to tie with, some black marabou for the tail, some UV2 white grizzly hackle for the rear collar, some medium gold chenille for the body, some orange saddle hackle as the hackle, some copper wire small for the rib, and some UV2 white grizzly hackle for the head. To start the fly off, I've tied on my thread and formed a bit of a base layer. Taking a couple of marabou tips, marabou feathers, I'm gonna measure them up about the length of the hook and go back and tie them in for the tail. Then again, when you tie in the tail, make sure you tie it in right at the rear of the hook and go behind and up and go behind again and up on the tail and that will secure it in place and it won't fold down on you. Now the tail's tied in, I've taken one of my white hackles, one of my grizzly hackles. I'm gonna tie it in by the tip, right behind where I put the tail in. And just wrap it over and make sure it's secure. Bring my thread forward slightly and then I'm gonna take just like two or three wraps. And this is just gonna form a back collar on the fly to go with the tail. And it's UV in color, so it's gonna really shine on the back of that fly and then tie off. Now that the back collar is tied in and off the back, I'm gonna take some of my small copper wire and wrap it in. And this will be used to rib over the hackle a little bit later. Now I'll take some medium gold chenille and I've picked off a little bit of that chenille just to make sure the body doesn't get too bulky. So I'm tying it in. I'll wrap that in and this will form the body a little bit later. So we'll keep that off the back of the hook. Now I'm gonna take one of my orange hackles, again, tie it in by the tip, right at the rear of the hook. Make sure it's tied in good. And now what we're gonna do is bring our, bring our thread forward, right up towards the eyelet, and we'll start wrapping in our chenille to form the body. Now that I have the body tied in, I'm gonna take my hackle that I had sitting off the back of the hook, and I'm gonna take, you know, on average, four to five wraps up the body to form the hackle. And then once I get near the head, I'm gonna leave a little room behind that eyelid, I'm gonna take about three or four spins just to build up a little bit of a head there. With this hackle, I'm gonna tie it off. Now the hackle's tied in, I want to bring the wire opposite way, so opposite way that I actually spun the hackle in. We'll just wrap the wire over. It forms a rim on the body and actually helps hold the hackle in place. And again, take that wire right up to where you found the hackle, tie it off right at the rear of the hackle there. Now that everything's tied in for the body, I've got a little bit of room left at the head, and what I'm gonna do is pull all this hackle back Wrap my thread over it and just form a little bit of a black head on the fly in preparation for tying in this final hackle. Now to finish the fly off, I've taken another one of my white grizzly hackles and I'm gonna tie it in by the tip right at the eyelet, right behind it. So wrap back a little bit, give yourself some room. Wrap the thread forward and then take, again, about three or four wraps to form a nice head on the fly. Now that the front hackle's tied in, I'm gonna pull all this material back and form a bit of a black head up there on the very top of the fly, the very head of it. And take my whip finisher and whip finish and probably apply some head cement sometimes, sometimes I don't. But as long as you get a good whip finish on the fly, it's usually good. So there you can see how well that fly shows up in the UV. And what sets this fly apart is the fish can see it in both the UV and the visible spectrums. To watch all our latest Sport Fishing on the Fly episodes and to order Sport Fishing on the Fly merchandise, head to www.sfotf.ca. And if you'd like to book an adventure like this one shown, 
Head to OnTheFlyAdventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.